Man, the alarms are going crazy, beeping like over the entire store. These are a pair of Adidas Hellcat Pro bike shoes. I found a pair of these right before I left Oregon and literally sold them in like a week's time. They sold for like 50 pre-owned. So at what, 28 plus tax now because in Oregon you didn't have sales tax. So probably right around like 30 bucks or so. Should ease a bit of sell these for probably right around 100 bucks. Alrighty, y'all. So I, I apologize about the alarms. There seems like they got even louder. But here's another pair of those Hellcat Pro bike shoes. Same thing. I think the first one were an, an 11. These are a 9. Alright, so here's some items on clearance. And none of this stuff is huge money makers. You're basically talking about turning. Oh, what? In this case, right here, these five pocket girdles. I mean, this is a crazy price right here. Only two forty nine plus tax. This will probably be a twenty to twenty five dollar sale. And there's two of them, big sizes, so that'll be great. And then, welcome back to PDX. But I think this is just a generic Dame Lillard Adidas T-shirt. I think he has a line with Adidas with his shoes. But anyway, these are only five bucks a piece should be a 20 to 25 dollar sale there's two of them and then here are a pair of just bread and butter item here just a pair of adidas long tights for men seven bucks should be a 30 to 35 dollar sale somewhere in that range so this is a pair of athleta brooklyn shorts in a super huge size of women's 18, so you know what that means, money. An even better thing, these are only 6.49 on clearance, so an easy, probably $35 sale. And here's another one, same thing, clearance 6.49, and I think the size is still a 18, so yeah, that's a really good size to sell to me for these shorts. I ended up doing pretty good in here, man, but the line is all the way down the aisle. So we'll see how fast Fall it goes. Here, so are the savings from Cozy North Face Boots, 60. Okay. So, uh, some phantom soccer cleats pretty decent size for soccer or men's eight 30 bucks so these are the phantom gx2 just kind of sifting through the listings they're only listed for right at a double up from what the price is in here 42 of them, only four sold. And the ones that sold, you know, maybe 20 bucks. So I'm gonna leave those. More Hoka's, 90. Crocs, 15 bucks.
checking out the clearance, but man, it's basically empty. In the women's clearance section, it's an Adidas jacket. It's a small, little, right off the bat. Then at 20. So I've sold this model before, especially coming from the Northwest. Used to find this all the time up there. It's a Columbia blood and guts button up. It's a 2XT, so the size is it's fairly decent. And it's only 10 bucks in here plus tax, so right around 11 bucks. And this will sell all day for right around 35 to 40 bucks. Alrighty y'all, so a quick base hit inside of that Ross. This is my first time stopping over at this location and I think that sure ended up being 1091 with tax and this is definitely something I gotta get used to. In Oregon, we had state income tax, which is pretty outrageous, but we didn't have sales tax. But anyway, should be able to sell that for probably somewhere between 35 to 40 bucks. And for the most part now, our house is set up in Portland, just north of Nashville. This is my first full week working. I've gone to both Goodwill Benz locations just here in the Nashville area. The Berry Hill location is probably a location that I won't be regularly going to. Reason being is the commute from our house is absolutely insane. Literally, you have to go through Nashville a little bit and it adds probably about another 40 to 45 minutes just in the commute just because of the traffic. The traffic is absolutely horrendous. So I think the first day I went, it took me almost an hour and 40 minutes to make it, which is absolutely insane. The Cockrell Bend location is from my house. I can get there between 45 minutes to an hour because you're going down I-65 South and you before you get to Nashville, you venture off, I believe on 155. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, you avoid all the traffic into Nashville and so literally it's a straight shot you just you're going and going and going there's no bumper to bumper traffic so I think that's going to be my flagship location and I think I'll probably go to this one regularly like I did at the airport location in Oregon if you are regularly watching this channel you probably know the location I'm talking about but anyway I think my strategy right now I'm just trying to develop a good sourcing route I have about five to six Rosses and Burlington's a combination of those on the way home So I'm just trying to figure out when and how to hit each of those locations I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the Goodwill bins dictate my, my sourcing day And what I mean by that is on days that the bins is good I'll probably spend more time there and hit more store or hit less stores on the way home And then vice versa on days where the bins isn't going great Or you can just kind of tell it's going to be one of those days I'm going to leave there and then hit a lot of those stores on the way home because I think right now that'll be the best way to do it and I think the first day I went to the Berry Hill location it was a so-so day so I left there and I think I went to four or five Rosses and the good thing about that is the route basically guides me home and so I'm not like driving out of the way or anything like that but that's just what I'm gonna be doing here just for some rough draft thinking again I mean just when you do something new or trying to build something new it just make you have to make tweaks here and there but for the most part that's the strategy i'm going to use and i'll kind of give you guys basically a a play-by-play -play of how it's going for me so 30 bucks on a pair of these adidas predator elite cleats and a ten and a half. There's only one other ten and a half listed. It's listed for 160, and there was a ten and a half that sold for 125 plus shipping. So at 30 bucks, definitely got to take it. This might be all that I know. Think it's okay. I've got a long way to grow. Got my own Go the long way. No one taught me. Figured it out fine.